Hey YouTube, welcome to another Valkyrie Connect video. My name is Akeo, and in this video we'll be going over the mechanics, gear, and team building for the Connect battle Nidhogg. Nidhogg drops a specific token that you can use to purchase the accessory Eye of Nidhogg. Eye of Nidhogg grants the unit poison resistance as well as a speed buff. As you level up the skill, both poison resistance and the speed buff will increase by 5%. On top of that, the Eye of Nidhogg grants the unit attack, magic attack, and speed as a stat increase. This accessory can also be used in the connect battle to help resist the AoE poison coming from Nidhogg. Nidhogg is a grounded beast with a high emphasis on magic attack, a high affinity towards the dark element, moderate resistance towards fire and water, and low resistance towards earth and light. As you scale up in difficulty, you'll notice that Nidhogg is accompanied by either one or two sets of crystal, the first set being a magic type, the second set being range type. The first set of crystals, the magic crystals, grants Nidhogg a magic reflect barrier and also dealing dark magic attack damage to one random enemy while applying shade to them as well if they are Isers, Humans, Therians, or Yeltons. Shade is a status effect that removes the unit from the game for X amount of turns. The second set of crystals, the range crystals, deals dark magic attack damage while applying poison to the nearest unit. The poison only applies towards Isers, Humans, Therians, and Yeltons. Poison is a status effect that deals damage over time for X amount of turns. Nidhogg has an activated and auto skill. His activated skill deals dark magic attack damage to the nearest enemy row while poisoning all Isers, Humans, Therians, and Yeltan. His auto skill deals dark magic attack damage to all heroes in the connect as well as poisoning all Isers, Humans, Therians, and Yeltan. Next up, I'll be showing you some example gears that you can use in the connect to either Crystal Crush, deal direct damage to him, or to sustain the incoming damage. The top row, you see Stillwater Greatsword, Latent Light Bow, Key of Asgard, and Fameseer. These are your AoE weapons that can help you Crystal Crush. The second row, you'll see Shining Soleil, Monir, Storage Raider, and Vigrid. These are your single target damage that can help deal damage towards Nidhogg to end the fight quicker. The bottom row, Mermaid Bikini, Glacial Cloak, Bangle of Faith, and Mystical Earrings. These are your defensive items that you want to use in the connect. Keep in mind that there are other items that you can use such as Winged Helm, Straw Hat, Mithril Armor, Crystal Armor, and Mossy Armor. All of these will help you in the connect by increasing either the HP or magic defense of your units. If your units are orbed and promoted far enough as well as the gear that they have on are high enough level, you can do this connect without any healers as long as you equip each one with some type of heal item such as Winged Helm and Straw Hat. Next up, I'll be going over some example units that you can use in the connect. First up, we have our healers and tanks. We have Spooky Eater, Erd, Neji, and Luka. The reason why Baldur isn't on this list is because of his low dark resist. It doesn't mean that he's not able to complete the connect, it will be just more difficult for you to have him on the team as opposed to these two healers. Spooky Irun grants an HP buff as well as a heal towards three of your heroes with the lowest HP. She's considered a spike healer versus Erd who's a heal over time healer. Erd also grants a defense and match defense buff for three turns to all of your heroes. Erd is preferred as the healer for this connect due to her being able to combat the damage over time of the poison with her healing over time. Next up we have our tanks, we have Niji and Luka. Both of these tanks have moderate dark resist and they both can put up a barrier for the incoming magic attack damage. The difference between the two is that Luka can heal off of her barrier, but she can only absorb up to 50% of her max HP, while Niji can absorb up to 100% of her max HP. Heimdall isn't preferred for this connect due to his low dark resist and it may be more difficult for him to deal with the magic attack damage as well. Next up we have our melee DPS. We have Liesha, Thor, Loki, and Saber. Notice that all of these DPS they either deal light damage or neutral damage. You don't want a DPS that deals dark damage since Nidhogg is dark based and light is his weakest resistance. Keep in mind that Liesha's damage is neutral damage, so there isn't any resistance applied to her attack. Thor and Saber both have low dark resist, which may make it difficult for them to sustain the incoming damage. It may be wise to equip them with HP as well as magic defense accessories. Next up, we have a range as well as mages. We have Verdandi, Wolfgang, Odin, and Freya. 
Though Verdandi as well as Freya both have low dark resistance, their light elemental attacks are great for crystal crushing since Freya can deal damage to the front row and Verdandi can attack the first three enemies. Though Wolfgang doesn't have light elemental attack, he does have high dark resistance which allows him to sustain incoming damage. He is also a great unit for crystal crushing. Odin on her hand has high dark resistance as well as light elemental attack. His ability also targets every enemy in the connect allowing him to crystal crush more efficiently. Remember that these are just example units that you can have in the connect. There are many others that you can choose. Look for units that have high dark resistance. If not high dark resistance, they can compensate with either crystal crushing or high light attack damage. So final notes on Nidhogg is to bring units with light or earth damage units that can crystal crush as soon as possible, and bring Eye of Nidhogg as an accessory to resist the AoE poison. And with that, if you aren't already involved in the Valkyrie Connect community, there is a Discord and Reddit that I'll provide a link below in the description. If you like the video, please like the video. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. And follow me on Twitter if you'd like to see what I've been up to in the game as well as Valkyrie Connect Japanese news. Until next time guys, take care.